Voltage-controlled oscillator that's to go in a mobile phone. I've taken the, the metal lid off it. I don't know if you can see any of the components on there, but when I adjust that plug, so it's uh, it's used for the um, local oscillator in, in, well, it's not used anymore in mobile phones. It's all on the chip now, but maybe five or ten years ago, in probably most used mobile phones you'd find would have one in there, or broken ones. Um, it's a local oscillator that they use in the receiver, or there's probably one for the transmitter in most phones as well. And by adjusting this pot, you can tune it to uh, different frequencies. This one goes from 2.4 to 3 gigahertz. And I've put a tiny little piece of wire sticking, I don't know if it's visible, just a single strand of wire sticking out from the output, RF output terminal. Uh, it's not quite visible. Maybe it's just visible there. And if I hold it near this... Um, this diode, you can oh, put the lid on it. If I hold it near the Schottky diode, then you can you can see the rectified RF coming from that. I'm not sure if there's anything interesting to do with these VCOs. I've got heaps of them, but uh, hey, can you show the the Schottky diode again? I, I just yeah. I just realized we're getting into some good stuff, so I hit record again. So, so what do you have there I, again? That's an I think it's an HSMS two eight two two. Schottky diode. It's in a surface mount package. You can buy them in non-surface mount, but they cost more, so I bought the surface mount. And I've just hooked it onto two little thin wires onto a, a microamp meter. And if you hold that near a, a microwave oven, near the outside of the microwave oven door, uh, when the microwave's turned on with, say, some water in it, you'll see some RF that leaks out around the door, and um, it gets rectified by the diode and, and drives the meter. Um, you can see if you push on the door and push it so it fits better, then the leakage goes down, things like that. <laughs> You're going to cause a panic that everyone's getting uh, radiation from their microwave. Uh, if you really want to panic, you hold it near your phone when you're making a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what can we do with that little local oscillator? I don't know. Hmm. You could, I mean, if you put a microphone on on there, it'd be an FM transmitter, but you'd need a, a an FM receiver at like two and a half gigahertz. So maybe, maybe you can get. Maybe I don't know. What do those um, video senders use? Maybe you could use it. Put a little transmitter. I don't know what you could put it on. It's about a quarter of an inch square. You need a, a watch battery or something. Huh. Interesting. Have to explore that a little bit. Another thing I was going to show you, I, I like these ESD bags, I'm not quite sure what to use them for, but they're resistive material. You can make a pot with this. Um, each layer of the bag seems to be actually three layers of material. There's two resistive layers and a, an insulating layer in between. And I tried to make like a two-dimensional pot with it. Um, not quite like a touchpad on a, a laptop because you need a metal probe to or a stylus or something to, to draw in it. If anyone thinks of a good use for these, I've got millions of them. Now, are those the really kind of soft, dark ESD yeah. bags? Because I have some silvery ones here, and I tried to... I I touched the outside with an ohm meter, and I couldn't see any... Yeah, I found, this, I found the same as you. I, I couldn't think of a use for them, except for putting circuit boards in. So the dark black ones are conductive. I didn't know that. I'll have to keep my eye yeah, open you, for those. You can you can definitely make a, a pot with them or something. It's just a little bit confusing. If you touch a probe on one side and a probe on the other side of a single sheet that you've cut out of the bag, there's not often there isn't a connection between them. So it's like three layers in there. There's an insulating layer in the middle. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try that. I think I probably have a few of those around. Huh. I think that's all the things I thought of to show you. <laughs> awesome. Good stuff, though. That's awesome stuff.